Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. Today is Thursday, December 3rd, 2020. And we begin with color pictures of a spectacular lunar landing and what could be the first moon rocks brought back to Earth in four decades. Video released yesterday shows an unmanned robotic spacecraft from China touching down to reveal a panoramic view from the soil all the way to the horizon. Almost immediately, the little lander began using a scoop and a drill to identify and collect the best moon souvenirs. As early as today, it'll be mission accomplished and the robot will blast back into space, hopscotch to an orbiter, and bring its precious cargo back to Earth. It's been 44 years since the last moon dust made the long journey, first with U.S. astronauts and then with the Russians. For the British, help is now just days away. The United Kingdom yesterday became the first country on the planet to officially greenlight Pfizer's COVID vaccine. 800,000 doses will roll out by next week, with nursing home residents and their caregivers first in line. In the U.S., approval is running about a week behind, but the FDA says it won't be pressured to speed it up. Meanwhile, with COVID hospitalizations at an all-time high, the nation's top doctors issued a stern warning to not travel for the winter holidays. A leaked memo from the CDC calls the risk of transmission historic, while the director says the next few months will be the most difficult this nation has ever faced. For those who insist on leaving home, the center is urging virus tests both before and after the trip. With a flick of a switch, the holiday season officially kicked off last night in New York City. The annual lighting of the Rockefeller Center Christmas tree, like everything else, looked a little different this year. The event was closed to the public, but still broadcast live on NBC. From a distance, viewers watched as more than 50,000 LED lights lit up the now owl-free 75-foot Norway spruce. Perched on top a 900-pound star covered in 3 million crystals. Those hoping to get a look over the next month will need to follow new COVID restrictions, such as socially distanced viewing zones, and when it's crowded, text message alerts letting visitors know when it's their turn in front of the tree. Call it wishful thinking. According to Variety magazine, the producers of Hollywood's biggest award ceremony are determined to hold the 2021 Oscars in person and not on Zoom. Last spring, organizers moved the show from its normal February date to April 25th. Part of the reason was to give theaters more time to open and screen new films. Even so, it's unclear how many of the nominated actors and other celebrities will show up to fill the 3,400 seats at the Dolby Theater, or for that matter, how many would even be allowed. Los Angeles County is leading the U.S. in COVID cases and is still under a modified stay-at-home order. BTS fans all over the world can breathe a sigh of relief. Tomorrow, Jin, as the oldest member of the band is known, turns 28 years old. Under South Korean law, that means he, like all able-bodied South Korean men, must sign up for one to two years of mandatory military service. However, this week the government revised the Military Service Act to allow K-pop stars another two years before having to serve. Other exceptions have been made in the past for Olympic athletes and classical and folk musicians, but this is a first, and no doubt influenced by the band's enormous success. On Tuesday, the Princes of K-Pop's newest single, Life Goes On, about life during the pandemic, became the first Korean-language song ever to top the Billboard 100 in the U.S. That's it for Kid News. Don't forget, it really helps if you rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. And you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Now, our Kid News quiz. What is the CDC urging Americans to avoid over the winter holidays? Travel, but if they must, it recommends getting tested before and after the trip. If successful, what country will be the first in four decades to bring moon rocks back to Earth? China.
when and where is next year's Academy Awards scheduled to take place? April 25th at the Dolby Theater in Los Angeles. Which BTS single became the first Korean language song to top the Billboard 100? Life Goes On. And one for the road. Is it a copycat caper or just an international coincidence? Days after an eyewitness saw four men disappearing with a now famous metal structure in the Utah desert, a new mystery has popped up nearly 6,000 miles away. Just last week, an unusual triangular metal structure was spotted on a hillside in Romania. The town's mayor greeted the object's arrival with a healthy sense of humor and chalked it up to the work of some naughty alien teenagers. He also said he was honored they chose his city. Now, just a few days later, it too has mysteriously vanished. Before we go, a special shout out to Farah from Douglas in the beautiful state of Alaska. Now it's time to turn it over to Kim for the rest of today's Kid News shout outs. Thanks, Tori. First, our terrific teachers, Ms. Norton at Duff Elementary in Arlington, Texas, Mrs. T at Friendship Elementary in Beaufort, Georgia, and it's a great day to be a Hudson Hornet. Hello to Ms. Jordan at Bonner in Hudson, Texas. And we send birthday wishes to Asher in Atlanta, Georgia, Mitch in Jacksonville, Alabama, Micah in Charlottesville, Virginia, Ray in Tokyo, Japan, Colton in Spokane, Washington, Ruby in Menlo Park, California, Cassidy in Downingtown, Pennsylvania, and in Michigan, we have Charlotte in Gross Point and Rory in North Branch. Thanks for listening, everyone. We hope you tune in for more kid news tomorrow morning. <laughs>